husband's search. Kindly step aside. The shock on Mikkel's face tells it all. But you do not have the right to threaten anybody, jungle or not. Maybe this will help him control his temper when he leaves the jungle. episode was not even a joke like I was so surprised that I was livid at what happened today somebody was actually disqualified they call it eviction but eviction was not normal it was disqualification and I'm going to tell you what happened hi guys welcome to my channel please I'm so sorry that I'm in MIA sorry but now I'm back welcome to my channel thank you for being here if this is your first time please kindly subscribe if you're a regular viewer you know I love you so very much now let us talk about what has been happening in the Gouda Ultimate Search Jungle so far. Let me just forget about all the tasks and all the things that they did today for a bit and just address this thing. So you guys, I mentioned in the very first episode about a guy named Michael and I knew his name because of how he was behaving and I mentioned it as God. I hope that he doesn't leave this jungle because I wouldn't want something that happened in Big Brother Niger to happen again in this particular show. You know, I mentioned that and tonight he was evicted because of his character, because of his behavior. A lot of people have been complaining about how he would just wake up and start wondering at night. And then a lot of people also complain how he doesn't actually listen. Sometimes they're talking to him, he'll just be lost. And now what happened? What led to his eviction? He had had this argument with Tima earlier. His name is Mfon, but they also call him Michael. So Tima is one of the female warriors. So he had this argument with her earlier in the day. What had happened was that he took Tima's shoes. And Tima went to meet him that guy. Please, can I have my shoe? But he started threatening her that please, I should She now said, okay, can I just know the size of your shoe so that I will know if this one you have is mine and all that. So they went really, really hot. She, they exchanged words, but he threatened her. He said she should watch her back in this jungle and outside the jungle. So today, after their whole task, they went to the place of the talking drum. And then their host, Token Makiwa, was addressing them. And the first thing she addressed was that, okay, oh, Mr. Michael, why did you threaten Tima today? And I said, explain that, oh, everybody knows that Tima has really, really sharp mouth, bad mouth. He has learned how to work with the female gender. In my mind, okay, what's that? What does that even mean? Someone who hardly um, controls the way she talks all the time. And, and somebody who knows how to like, you know, some kind of exercise from the female um, folks. But yeah, let's move on. But that she, he met her the first time, met her the second time. Now as I came up and just told him, okay, now I asked Tima to explain herself. Tima explained everything that happened. And I told him that, and to ask him what's his shoe size, confirm if it was really mine. So he now started threatening me. He came close to me and said it to my face once, and went past his end and said it twice. Oh, he took my shoes, I went to meet him, asked him for my shoe, and then he started threatening me. Everybody was there, threatening me to my face, and went to threaten me again in the tent. Now that they just told him, brother, you have come to the end of your journey in the jungle. Please leave the jungle. Like, just like that. If you see the shock in his face, he went to the tent and then he started crying. Then she now said that. Now let this serve as a warning to every single one of you. The moment you walked into this jungle, your test began. And that was how his road just ended. So came up when I went ahead to say that in this jungle, everything counts, everything matters. That you can just be living your life, but then discipline is very important. You have to learn how to coexist with your fellow human being. That's another thing that they are doing in this jungle. So the fact that he couldn't relate with her without using such words and threatening her like that, then he doesn't deserve to be here. So that's it. Too. Then now everybody was just so like they were surprised. Then the other shocker for tonight again was when they said, "Oh yeah, it was the Iroko team that lost today's task." Apparently, they had a puzzle game. Unlike the other times that this particular task was supposed to deal with their physical strength and all that. Yes, there was a physical strength aspect where they had to you know lift some boxes to go and mount somewhere. But besides that, they had to solve three word puzzles. So when they did that, it was Team Iroko that came last. Now. 
The annoying part is that earlier in the day, they had asked the rest of the housemates, I keep calling them housemates, the rest of the warriors, who they think the, the strongest person is. And they all kept mentioning Gerald's name. Oh, he's going to be Gerald. Oh, he used to be a physical trainer. He's physically fit. Oh, he's really good. Oh, he's smart. Oh, he's the one that I think. Like, almost everybody mentioned Gerald's name that he happens to be the person that is like the strong, strongest contender in the jungle. But guys, guess what? Tonight, they now told them that they should mention in their team who they think the weakest link is. All of them, they shut up or they did not say anything. They come back and I said, okay, it means that one person is going to go, since people refuse to mention name, they now did the normal thing. She brought out different pictures, started showing them the pictures one after the other, showed them, showed them. They had a paper in their hand. So it was now time for them to go to the pot to go and pick a pen to write their answers. So when she told them to go and pick the pen, they started rushing, 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 because she said you have five seconds. They started rushing, rushing, rushing. It was only one of them that didn't rush. So when they went back to their stage, she now told that guy that, you know what, you are exempted. You can sit down. You were the only one that didn't rush. And that was how he escaped eviction. The next people now started again. She now told them, okay, what was the sixth image that you saw? They all wrote, went to submit it, then returned their pen. After submitting, it turns out that all of them had the answers correctly, so they had to do again. When they went back to their seat again, it was only one person that didn't sit. He stood and waited for Tokema Kwa to tell him to sit. So when he sat down, she now told them that everything matters in this game. I didn't tell you to sit, so the fact that you didn't stand up, like wait for me to tell you to sit, it, it has cost you something. So it was now Gerard and Tima that was left, guys. So they now call them again. Oh, yeah, come and answer. In the next five minutes, you are going to answer this. And fam, it was Gerald that was evicted. So our greatest shock. If you think that this boy that everybody is afraid of, that is the greatest contender, he's very fit, physically, everything. But guys, guess what? He is the one that was evicted tonight. I'm so shocked. Like, come on. Is this what this game is about? Gosh like anything can just happen at any time any day like anything you do it just it's going to cost you something you rush na problem you sit down na problem you do na problem anyways the winning team had a gift i mean a reward for tonight and they rewarded them with some two bars of yam and i think it was beans or so or rice and they were really really excited about that but guess what the rest of the housemates I keep calling them housemates. The rest of the warriors were just really, you know, you know, they are just quite dull, especially because of what had happened to both Gerald and then Michael as well. But this is going to teach them a lesson. The life lesson that they are learning, ah, it is obvious that they have to learn it. They say this thing is going to teach you in your journey. They also, talking about also went ahead to mention that she hopes that this is going to serve as a lesson to Michael that anywhere it goes through hopes that he's going to learn how to control his emotion and learn how to coexist with his fellow human beings. She also went ahead to warn them about them wandering into the forest anyhow, that they have, they are not alone in this forest, they have people who watch over them and all that, and they're not supposed to see those people, but the people are reporting to them that these people used to wander into places that they are not supposed to go to, so please be warned. I feel like they are warning these people because if they catch you anywhere again, they might just come tomorrow and just tell you that, oh, you are evicted, you come and be going home. But fam, it is not even easy. I cannot believe it. I just hope that Michael is good. As in, it's just so surprising how only one character flaw can just shatter your dreams. Because we know how determined Michael is since the start of this show. He has been putting in effort. He's the one that kept talking about all strategic things, planning and strategizing things before you go ahead to do tasks, you know. He has been focused on this game. And come on. It's not even because his team lost. He wasn't even in the team that lost. Like, no, he wasn't. He lost and he left because of a character flaw. Fam, this is very, very serious. As in, there's a lot to learn from this show. I'm not even going to lie. Because no matter how good you are, there's something that I've always heard and I've always known. That no matter how good you are at something, no matter the talent, no matter how smart you think you are, with your character, it is only your character that will tell whether you go far or you are going to, you know, just be where you are with your talent and be shouting, you know. So yes, that's all that I have for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you missed me because I missed you guys so much. Do not worry, fam. I'm coming in with my Q&A video soon. I know I've said this thing a hundred times, but do not worry. It's not far anymore. Who missed me? Mm, I'm going to see you in my next time. Bye.